another day, another commitment for Iowa football's 2025 class. That class starting to get full. We'll talk about the commitment of Brad Fitzgibbon and also we'll look at some highlights of the young man from Marist, which is Chicago area. We'll look at that in just a second. But first, if you are not following this show on Facebook, Instagram, and the like, be sure to do that. Give us a thumbs up here on YouTube, but head over to our Facebook page, check it out, follow, like, interact with us. We appreciate any interaction on our social media platforms and Instagram clips being uploaded almost on the daily right now as we get set for yet another exciting year of Hawkeye football and Iowa athletics. We're kind of in the off season, but of course, recruiting and commentary previewing never stops here from the Hawkeye of the storm. Be sure to check us out on your favorite social media platforms. It's from the Hawkeye of the storm on Facebook and at from the Hawkeye on X and Instagram. So the news that broke here just earlier this afternoon, three-star defensive lineman, and he is projected to be an interior guy, defensive tackle. Brad Fitzgibbon has committed to the Hawkeyes following an official visit. Brad listed at six foot four, 280 pounds out of Marist High School in the Chicago area. Yes, if that high school sounds familiar, he is the former teammate of John Nestor, who has really emerged onto the scene for the Hawkeyes. He's projected to play this year, just his second year in the program after not enrolling early. But boy, he came on strong early during his freshman season. And with Cooper DeGene departing for the NFL, it's likely we'll see John Nestor sooner rather than later. But as it relates to Brad Fitzgibbon, by all accounts, just a hard-nosed football player. Take a look at some of these Highlights from Brad. He is seen regularly on tape manhandling the lineman opposite of him. Now, of course, again, this is like two to three minutes. We're not going to get to all three minutes of highlight footage from his junior year. But these are highlight clips. I always preface my reaction, my analysis based on what I see on Huddle. I always preface it by saying, hey, these are clips. These are highlights. But you can just see this kid loves contact. He loves the game of football. He's a tough dude on the football field. And like I say, really good explosion for 6'4", 280. And I'll be frank, when I looked at him initially, I saw a picture of him. I'm like, okay, looks like maybe an offensive lineman at some point. But boy, you watch him on tape, you're like, okay, I can see why he's playing on the defensive side of the football. The dude loves to pursue the ball and is a much better athlete than maybe you would initially think. Definitely than I initially thought. He's considered to be a top 25 prospect in the state of Illinois, according to on three. And again, just look at some of this film. Pretty good feet for a guy his size at 6'4", 280. I could see him gaining 20 pounds at least. He's already at 280. So you're talking about a guy who's going to be 6'4", 6'5", 300 by the time he gets to college. I will be very surprised, and I know this is maybe jumping the gun a little bit, but I'll be very surprised if this guy does not eventually become a starter along that Iowa defensive line based on just some intuition, watching him on film, seeing the type of player that he is, and based upon Iowa's track record in the Chicago area. They've done a pretty darn good job identifying Chicago talent. I think of Sebastian Castro, who earned some preseason All-America honors this year. Actually, just today with Athlon, coupling all that with the fact that a lot of the big-time recruiting analysts across the country really like this kid's future. And how about his offer list? You look at his list. In addition to Iowa, he visited Michigan State and Kansas, who both offered Wisconsin offered, Iowa State, Arizona State, Kansas State, and Vandy. So all these prospects that have committed, and we've talked about Cameron Heron, the interior offensive lineman here a couple of days ago from Indianapolis who had a great offer list. There have been a couple other guys we haven't gotten to yet because it's been a very newsy few days. But all of these guys with some high major offers, ignore the three-star status of a guy like Fitzgibbon, a guy who committed yesterday, C.J. Bell, ignore his three-star status on a lot of these sites it means nothing. Look at the offer list. And I know Don Patterson has said that on this show. It doesn't always mean the offers are available to a kid when the time comes for him to make a decision. However, it does give an indication of uh, what these high major programs thought of a young prospect. And certainly Fitzgibbon's list is impressive. And for his size, some really good traits when you watch him on tape. And obviously he enjoyed his visit. Sounds like he and John Nestor are pretty close. So that should be a relationship that is quite strong on the back end and the front end of that defense for years to come. So congratulations to Brad Fitzgibbon. We'll try to get Brad 
on this show for an interview at some point. If you enjoyed the content, I know it was brief today. We are going to be back with you over on the Iowa at the Voice of College Football channel at 4.30 p.m. Central Time on this Tuesday. Join us there at 4.30 p.m. Central Time. But in the meantime, hit that like button. Be sure you're subscribed. We'll talk to you next time.